Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In this episode, we're going to start delivering our own fuel to the facilities that need it. Let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. Now before we start delivering that fuel, let's just get you caught up on some work I've been doing offline. I click on my technical university. We're now researching chemistry. And over here at an agri-farm, I got a grain silo that's on fire. But thank God, I got a fire truck right on the go. And I've just had a grain silo destroyed by fire, even though I had fire trucks that just right across the road. So I guess I'll have to replace that. Just checking in our fields, the sowing is done and the growing is in progress. And over here at the oil refinery, I've added some more pump jacks as input. And they're just down the road here, just a little bit of ways. Of course, I had to create a road. And the pump jacks are right down here. I also created some other pump jacks on the other side of the river. So there's two more pump jacks delivering oil down to our oil refinery. And over here by the fire station by the oil refinery, I bought a few fire trucks. Now let's go back to that grain silo that burnt to the ground. So what's curious is I had a fire station right across the street. It's got one fire truck. I guess I should have had more. So let's purchase another one. Or maybe two. And we need firefighters. So I guess that is a problem. Maybe that's why they weren't there. But I did see a fire truck there. But for some reason it just didn't get there soon enough. Let's plop a little residence in here. Nothing too large. Maybe something like that. And put it right beside the fire station. And for these guys, I'm going to see if I can specify that they go there. Now back to my grain storage. Looks like its construction has stopped. Well, basically the thing burnt to the ground, so let's, it looks like I have to buy it again to build it. I'm going to need that when that harvest starts to go. All right, let's go back to the oil refinery. Now it looks like I have a number of problems I need to deal with. So let's deal with that stuff. And it looks like it's a loyalty issue. Oh, right here. But maybe we can get a monument of some kind in there. There's a nice small one. Maybe I can sneak something in there. Although I don't know if it's going to fit. Well, it looks like the closest I can get is right about there. And let's just check out some of the other issues. Citizens' loyalty is too low. Oh, it's over here. Let's go back and put in another Soviet monument of some kind. Put in a nice big one. That should help out. Okay, back over to our oil refinery. So if you recall from previous episodes, this is the storage tank here that's carrying fuel. And it's going up nicely. And there's where our trucks will load the fuel. So let's build ourselves a distribution office. Under general cargo, I'm going to pick a medium-sized distribution office. And I'm just going to plop it in nice and close to where they're going to load. And while that's building, it looks like my citizen's happiness is too low. And that seems to be a constant theme. Let's see what they're not happy about. He can't get food. Well, that's an easy one to fix. Let's put a grocery store right in here. And we'll put some walkways to that grocery store so it gets lots of coverage, so to speak. I'll we'll hook them up to there anyway. I'd like to come through here somewhere. 
maybe across like that. Anything I can do to get people over here. And once again, I have a loyalty problem. My loyalty problems seem to abound. All right, right there, they're not very loyal, but that's an easy fix, I hope. I'm gonna plop in a nice big emblem there. And there's a big problem. We've stopped production. That I want to take a look at. There are no workers, so that is alarming. Well, thank God I've got this other power plant. It's only got two. Well, let's see if we can get some more workers going that way. Just check this residence out here. He's unspecified, so let's click on that and plop him over there. And maybe there too. And I'm going to put in another walkway just to make sure they can get there with ease. And hopefully that's going to help. Well, it went up a little bit. And that guy's hanging in there. All right, we got power again. All right, back to the oil refinery. Okay, so we'll click on the distribution office and it needs some vehicles and it needs some tasks. So let's just get on with it. So let's add a new connection. So our new connection is there and it's going to load. All right, then over to our first unloading station. So of course there's a gas station and I'm also going to see if I can go to the fire station. Then over we go to the next little town. And in this little town here, I'm going to deliver to the fire station and the gas station. And we'll keep going down to our next, actually our biggest development. So here we have a hospital we can deliver to. And there's a gas station. And there is a fire station. Then we'll go down to the next little village. And again, we'll add the hospital and the fire station. So they're going to load at this location here, and they're going to unload at all the places that are actually showing up. As you can see, they show up in green. And I'm going to bump up this number here. Basically, if it's less than 90%, I want them to deliver fuel. Now let's buy some vehicles. Let's go over to a oil tank and let's see what we got. That one's nine tons and ten thousand dollars or ten thousand rubles. One there carries thirteen tons of fuel and is around nine thousand. And that one's pretty small. Look this one over here carries about nine tons. Well, this looks like a pretty good oil tanker here, so I'm going to buy a bunch of those. And close it up. And automatically the tank trucks go load up fuel and start delivering. Now perhaps to make their destination just a little easier, or their travels just a little easier, I think maybe a bridge in here would help gonna cost me a few bucks but it would cut down on the distance they have to travel so I'm gonna go here and build a bridge and then let's put a road in there you make the connection and that should cut down the distance they have to travel so the objective is that once all these trucks are delivering fuel to their destinations, we can stop importing or purchasing fuel for those facilities. And that should save us a few bucks. So now this truck here, you can see it's made a delivery to the fire station and to this fuel station next to the refinery. So for these two facilities, I'm going to stop purchasing fuel. And we'll just clear that out. 
And while they're making their deliveries, let's just check some of these warning notices we get. Happiness is too low. All right, so what don't they have here? They can't get food, that's the main thing. Let's put a grocery store in here. Boy, if I could get it to connect there, we'll have an automatic supply of food. Yeah, it's got food. Let's see if we can get it there and make an automatic connection. I'm going to plop it in right there. And then for these guys, let's just see how far they're willing to walk. And they can easily get there. And then this guy here should have lots of food. There are no or fewer sellers that are required or then required. So for him, I'm going to stop purchasing food. And approve that. And there's one of our tank trucks on its way to make a delivery. And while they're making their deliveries, let's just see if we can do something about this unhappiness we keep getting. Over here, this guy here is unhappy. He can't get electronics, enjoy culture or clothes. Well, nonetheless, he is unhappy. I'm going to leave that one for now. Check on this guy here. And they are unhappy. Because the workers are, have a low education level and there's no kindergarten. Well, that we can fix. Let's go to state run infrastructure and let's put a kindergarten in here. We'll put a kindergarten there and a school right next to it. And we'll just give this guy a road connection. And I'm going to put in a few walkways or pathways for these folks. They can easily get over there. That should help. on this guy there are no teachers workers with higher education try to click on there maybe I can purchase immigrants that are experts that might help and if we click on the kindergarten we have 10 out of 10 staff and 14 out of 40 babies now 15 16 and that's going up babies at kindergarten now let's go back to our other fuel stations, fire stations, and hospitals and stop purchasing fuel. This guy here, I thought I had cleared him out, but if we go there, yeah, we did. He's not purchasing fuel anymore. And then down to this fuel station or gas station, and we can clean that out. And let's keep going. Over at this hospital, let's just check to see what we're purchasing there. And we are purchasing fuel, so let's clear that out. And while we're here, we had a warning sign. There are no doctors or workers with higher education. Let's go to this building here, and let's see if we can get some experts in and invite them. That might help. And let's see if we can specify that they work over there. Uh, too far away or there's no connection. Now back here we had a bit of a power problem. We seem to be low on workers. That I don't understand because there should be a lot of productive workers here. I'm going to invite a few more in because half of the workers here should be going there. Okay, back to another fuel station here, and we will go to purchase and wipe out the purchase. We don't need that anymore. And same thing with this fire station. Again, we'll just eliminate the purchase. I'm anticipating or hoping that those deliveries will be in a timely manner. And then over to our other little village over here. There's the hospital. 
And again, in terms of purchase, we wipe that out. And oh yeah, there's a tanker truck right there. So he's in the vicinity making deliveries. And I'll click on the fire station. And once again, we will clear all. There, and he's not buying anything anymore. All right, so we're making fuel deliveries. And there's a truck right now making a fuel delivery to our hospital. And he's fueling up. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. So we've accomplished a lot today in a very short period of time. We're now delivering fuel to all the fuel stations, fire stations, and hospitals that need it. And we've stopped importing or purchasing fuel. So that's going to save us a few bucks. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to note them in the comment section below. So where do we go from here? Well, the answer to that question lies in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.